Okay, these are your drills. Okay, first one, use a pen, which I encourage. Pen with letters on it, so you can focus your eyes on a letter and you're gonna rotate your head to the left while keeping your eyes on that letter. You're gonna focus, you're gonna do it in all three directions, up left and then down left, all three. Then you're gonna do it like this, where you're going to rotate your head, keeping the pen in line with your nose between your eyes at all times. Keeping your eyes on that letter, you're gonna do it up, up left, then you're gonna do it down left three to five reps. Then you're going to do, I'm using a ball and and so my feet will be together. I have the ball in my hand. I'm looking at some letters on the ball. Keep my eyes on the letter while I do. And go in the opposite direction. Three to five. Then you're gonna to go to foot drills. So first one, have my foot here and I'm rolling, I'm looking at a joint that's on the side of my foot. So I'm gonna roll out. Your foot straight, turn it in, roll out, and turn it out, and roll out. Again, maybe five, three to five times in each position. Then you're going to do it rolling in. You want to bend your knee slightly when doing this and you're gonna roll in, the knee follows. Turn the foot in, and then turn the foot out. And then you're going to, you do this on both sides, and then you're going to do what we call a toe pull. Flex your toes, so you're in this position. I showed you from the side. So you're taking the instep towards the floor. I showed you from the front. Taking the instep to the floor. Then you roll the foot out. Now you're taking the malleoli, malleolo, malleolus or the ankle bone to the floor, All right? Then you anchor all along the entire big toe. You're gonna anchor that to the floor and then take the heel of that foot towards the floor and the other heel. I keep in that foot anchored. And then we're gonna do the hips, right? I'm showing you. So 
So you here. You do circles. Crossing midline and you circles in front. Both directions. And when you go out to the side, bring your leg out to the side. And you half your circle in front, half at the back. Both directions. And you do it from behind, right here. Or if you look at me from the side, not moving my back. It doesn't go so far around. I move my back, I bring it right here. Touching that heel. And when you finish doing those, you do the full circle. Both directions. Those are the drills. And the last one is for the middle of your back, between your shoulder blades and just below and just above, you're gonna be taking your chest bone. You'll be taking it up and out and down and in. Up and out, down and in. You're not pulling back your shoulder blades, you're just moving that thoracic spine. Up and out, down and in. Now, for your left, your left hip. After you do that, you're gonna just bend from the tailbone, all the way from tailbone up all through your spine. and hold for a count of three. You do that about three, again, three to five times. Now, the next one, left hip. So we're working the hip, the deep hip rotators. So the movement, it goes from a stretch to the, con the shorten the contraction. You're focusing on the back of the bone here to this bone right here called the, the uh, ischium on the outside. So that's where those, those six hip rotators lie. So the stretch is keeping your pelvis square. You're up. Up, rotate your hip in, bring your hip towards the midline, keeping your keeping your, your pelvis square. You don't want to rotate it, keeping it square, right? So you're up, rotate, just move it there. Then you take do an anterior tilt, which is this is an anterior and this is posterior. You do an anterior tilt. Then for the contraction, you would then rotate the hip out, take it back, keeping that hip square, and then tuck your tail, posterior tilt. So the whole thing looks like this. Hold them for a count of three. And then you do the glutes on the left side again. You're going to stretch the glutes. You're going to go up, rotate in. One is taking the glute to the midline. Again, don't move the pelvis. Keep the pelvis square there, anterior tilt, 
and take it out in anterior tilt. That's the stretch. The contraction is rotate, rotate the hip, rotate your hip out, take it back and away, keeping your knees locked. This is square and tuck your pelvis. That's one and keeping it like that. Move it to the midline. That's the upper fibers you're working down. So it would look like this where you go from the stretch up internal. There, this is upper the lower fibers and you go back. And tuck your tail. Now for the upper fibers, it would look like this. Anterior tilt. Bring it down. Rotate. Keeping your pelvis square. Bring it back to the midline. And tuck your tail. Keeping your pelvis square. And that's for the upper fibers. Now last one, piriformis. Pretty much all it is, is turning your hip, turning your hip in, rotating in, like that, keeping your pelvis square, and then rotating your hip out. Keeping your pelvis square. And the glute medius, is where you're gonna rotate anterior tilt, I mean posterior tilt, that rotation there. That's for the back one. And then to contract it, you bring the hip back, rotate out, bring it back and going to an anterior tilt. And those are so repeat that last one. You're up, rotate in there, you go into an anterior tilt, right? And then you bring it back and out, you go into a posterior tilt. Now there's a little nuance to this one. You take it back, you go into the posterior tilt, you can then kind of shift your hip to the left to get further contraction. And those are your drills, everything three to five reps.